Welcome to Equal Time with Martha Burr. The Oscars are coming up. Glitz, glamour, and gushing over actors, sets, plots, and of course costumes. Which creations are you betting on this year? The Pink Storm of Barbie? The Osage Nation Stunners in Killers of the Flower Moon? Elaborate robes of Napoleon? Or the drab suits of Oppenheimer? What are your most memorable outfits from the past? The $20 coin necklaces recreated for Viola Davis in Ma Rainey's Black Bottom in 2020? Or how about the 75 stunning Victorian outfits created for little women in 2019? Or maybe the rigs for men in Gladiator way back in 2000. Whatever your favorites, the costumes make the players come alive. Costume design takes imagination, hard work, and long hours. And the labor that makes it happen is overwhelmingly female. Women have dominated the costume design category since the first Oscars were passed out, outstripping men by miles both in the number of nominations and wins. They virtually own the winner's circle from the first awards in 1949. So, females are without question the stars of Hollywood costume design, and they get lots of well-deserved recognition for what they do. Except in one very important category, pay. The Costume Designer Guild pay rate is 45% lower than male-dominated craft guilds, and it's the lowest paid organization under the umbrella of the Alliance of Motion Picture and Television Producers, which controls pay for its members. This year, the women of the Costume Designers Guild are fighting back. They're working with civil rights and women's organizations in a national campaign for equal pay in their industry. You can show your support at hashtag Naked Without Us or amptp.org. Thanks for listening to Equal Time. I'm Martha Burke.